I feel like that guy from The Price is Right. Let's go plug this thing in, see what it's all about. My friends over at Retivis, Redivis, asked me if I would review some microphones. It's a, it's a desk microphone for the IC7300 and a foot switch. I don't know which is in which box. I'm hoping that the foot switch is in the is in this box and the microphone's in this box, but I'm sure I'm wrong. Let's figure out what we got going on here. Box, the first, box number one. Oh, this is none of the above. This is a nice hat. I like this. It's a Retivis hat. Nice fresh brim, 100% cotton made in China. Redivis logo on the back. Right of this logo on the front fits in the box. We will give this away on a future live stream, so be sure to stay tuned for future live streams where we can give away hats. <laughs> it didn't go back in the box very well. All right, close that up. The hat is too big for the box. Awesome. This hat could be yours. Scare the dog. I love scaring the dog. It's, it's one of my joys in life. All right, so this is the foot switch. I can read on the box, it's the foot switch. We have a quarter inch adapter to eighth inch adapter. A nice plastic bag, what's in the plastic bag? The foot switch is in the plastic bag. That's chonky. Single channel foot switch for PTT. I imagine this is what Pac-Man sounds like in real life. So there's some room here to screw it down to a, a base if you wanted to do that. It is a decent size, you know, as far as like how it feels in my hand, which is not the, not the use case. And then we have some adapter plugs to adapt the plugs. All right, that's what that looks like. And see what this looks like. All right, we have an owner's manual, the SM01 owner's manual. It'd be nice if they had a picture of the device on the owner's manual. Okay, it says, put it together. It tells you how the connectors are configured. So I'm gonna do a double check real quick to make sure this is configured properly for my radio. But what do we have here? We have, oh, that's nice. It looks like a regular XLR connection on that end. And then a nice little microphone connection on this side. And then we have an eight pin connector on this side and an RJ45 on that side. And then we have the base. And the base is a decent weight. Nice. Okay. Microphone can only go in one way. We've got what appears to be a volume control, another PTT, an on off switch. And then the foot switch PTT. All right, so that's how the foot switch connects in. So it'll either connect in here or it'll connect into the radio. It's easier to have it connect in there. And then this connects into the radio. Let's verify how that is wired. Dum -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> you can get this to be configured for a handy talkie. That would be funny because that's like a a GP328 plug, or the kind you'd find on a Motorola radio. This is an RJ45 to Enwood plug instead of a Kenwood plug. RJ45 to RJ45. RJ45 to standard 8-pin circular as defined below. Let's pull up my ICOM manual. Microphone connector, there we go. Okay, pin 1 is microphone input, which goes to mic 1. Pin 2 is 8-volt DC output. This is where we got to be careful. Pin two goes to VCC plus. We'll have to figure out how much voltage that is. Well, no, this is voltage coming from here to the microphone because there's no power connector in the microphone. Pin three, frequency up down, it's not connected, that's fine. Pin four, squelch line output, that's not connected, that's fine. Pin five is PTT and it goes to PTT, okay. Pin six, microphone ground. So ground is PTT ground and microphone ground. Those two are connected together and then they make their way back over here. So that goes to regular ground and that goes to SP minus, speaker minus. 
Okay, so speaker minus ground and, and all that jazz are probably all connected. So this looks good enough to me. Let's get it connected to the radio. Okay, we are all set up on the desk here. I've got my radio set up on 14325. I've got the laptop on the poda.app website. And we've got the, the desk mic set up there. It's actually a pretty decent size setup. And one of the interesting things is, it is using its own speaker base. The base is a speaker, which is pretty cool. So, I can turn that all the way down. I can turn it all the way up. Let me find a signal that you guys can hear. So, microphone right here, and then the speaker is in the base. All the way off. All the way on. After five nine, I can't be as generous. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, you're five and five. Fifty five nickels, nickels in Oklahoma QSL. Nickels, nickels in Oklahoma QSL. This switch hey, here you, puts you in the box mode. The CSK back to net control. All right, Ron, we'll get you back to net, and uh, let's uh, move on to line. So you can control this volume here. First, set it up here on the radio. That's turned all the way up on the radio. And then, then I'm turning it up with the volume knob right there. Which is kind of a little bit of a push button, but it's not really a push button. Kilo, Mike 9, Golf. Um, I got Kilo, Mike 9, Golf. That's correct. Kilo, Mike 9, Golf. KM9G, you're 5 9 into Wisconsin. 5 9 Whiskey Indigo. All right, thank you very much. Uh, good luck on the activation there. We'll talk to you later, 73. Kilo, Mike, 9, Golf. Kilo, Mike, 9, Golf, and you will find a 9. Copy the 5, 9. You are 5, 9 into Wisconsin. Whiskey, Indigo, QSL. Okay. Thank you very much, 73. 73, thank you. All right, it's a pretty versatile piece of kit here. It is a... XLR connected microphone. So you could probably use whatever microphone you wanted if you like the desk stand. So that's a pretty utilitarian feature that it has if you already have an XLR mic that you like. If you don't, it comes with a mic because it's, it's a desk mic, so it does the thing there. It has a speaker built into the base and the speaker actually sounds pretty decent. I was impressed with the sound quality that came out of the speaker. You guys heard it in the video a little bit earlier. It has a push button switch on the front for PTT. It has an on off switch on the front for for Vox. I don't use Vox all that much, so I didn't really mess with it. When I turned it on, the radio immediately went into transmit. I'm sure there's some setting that you can use that would turn that back off again. Uh, on the back side, it has an RJ45 connector for the microphone to the radio hookup, and then it has a PTT connector for the push-to-talk switch. You do not need to get the foot pedal with it. I did get the foot pedal with it to test out and, and share that with you folks. Foot pedal does the thing, we'll talk about that in a second. There's still a little bit more to talk about with this though. The RJ45 connector on the back means that this thing is modular, I guess is the word that we'd be looking for. You can hook it up to uh, your Yezu radios that take the RJ45 connections like the 891 or the 818, although a portable radio with a desk mic is kind of an interesting concept. You can still get the job done though. It will hook up to the Kenwoods with the 8-pin connector, the Elecraft and the Icom with the 8-pin connector. You can also have it hook up to your handy talkie with the Kenwood jack and with the Motorola style plug. So it's an extremely versatile desk mic. Uh, again, I don't know why I'd want a handy talkie with a desk mic, but you do you, I do me, and we're, we're all good. We're all good to go there. Let me get the foot switch for you real quick. Okay, the foot switch is fairly strong. It's all plastic. The microphone is a combination of plastic and metal. Yeah, microphone's a combination of plastic and metal. The microphone feels like it's a pretty quality piece. This is sturdy, but very lightweight. It has rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna move around on you too much. And it has enough, it has enough of a spring in there that you can rest your foot on it, not, you know, like forcefully hover your foot above it, paying close attention to it all day long while you're trying to win a contest and stress yourself out. Requires a little bit of force. To activate it, it did come with the adapter cable to go from quarter inch to eighth inch, 
And this is an on off switch. So if you really wanted to, you could use this as a straight key. I don't really want to do that, but you do you, like I said before, it's all up to you and how you want to enjoy yourself in this hobby. There are links in the description down below for this thing if you'd like to get your hands on one of them. Otherwise, there's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.